Hey, what's up everyone? Pasay Butter here. This is now the sixth game for today, February 26, 2023. This is a Western Conference matchup between Sacramento Kings and OKC Thunder. That will happen at around 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given in here is minus 3.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, the Sacramento Kings. Now, before we proceed, let's check on the standings and the rankings of both teams. Again, both belonging to the West. Sacramento Kings, they are at number 3 with a record of 34 wins and 25 losses. While OKC Thunder, they are at number 11, you know, trying their best to actually make it to the top 10 with a record of 28 wins and 31 losses. Alright, OKC Thunder, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of fatigue, we can just skip that part. Both teams are coming off uh, um, rest days. In terms of momentum, we got to give it to Sacramento Kings, man. Um, they are approaching this game on back-to-back uh, -back wins. While for OKC Thunder, it's the other way around. Approaching this game, they are on back-to-back -back losses. Checking on their form, Sacramento Kings, they are also looking better. Uh, winning 6 out of their last 10. While for OKC, just winning 4 out of their last 10 matches. Let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. SGA is actually out for OKC. Is this correct? Um, and Prokashevsky is also out. Wow. Two players are out for OKC Thunder. Well, the rest are actually playing for Sacramento Kings. I wonder why the why the spread is that low. Hold on. Hold on. Um, no SGA, no Prokashevsky. That's just crazy for OKC, man. Um... Let me see if there are any corrections real quick. Yeah, it's actually showing, even in the ESPN website, it's showing that SGA and Pukashevsky are both out. Let me go to Sacramento. Sacramento, everyone's healthy, man. Wow. I wonder why the spread is that low. Minus 3.5. Alright, here we go. Um, I guess it's quite obvious, right? No SGA, no Pokashevsky. We got Sacramento Kings here right now. I know they are at home, but I don't know if you watched their last game. That was against the Los Angeles Clippers. That was a crazy game. Perhaps one of the best games that I have seen for the past 10 years or so. Um, that was a double OT win by Sacramento Kings. And the regulation, they were already down by like double digits and just like two minutes left or whatever. But then they, you know, they, they tightened up the defense and they were able to force an OT. Uh, they went to double OT and then they captured and escaped with a one-point victory, man. On that game, uh, both the Aaron Fox and Monk had 40-plus point games, and that's actually a record, man. Uh, for Sacramento Kings, uh, that was the first time that two two players on the same team against Sacramento Kings they scored 40-plus points in one single game. Uh, plus, again, um, Kawhi Leonard, he was actually having a tremendous performance. Also, Paul George, he was getting those fouls here and there. Batum wasn't missing in the in the three point uh, territory, so it was a crazy win by Sacramento Kings. I'm pretty sure their morale um, is pretty high. Their confidence is uh, is legitimately high because if you won that game, it seems like you can beat ev everyone, and it seems like nothing is impossible, really. Um, going up against uh, OKC, I know OKC is at home, but they don't have their main, you know, their main guys. I think this should be an easy win for Sacramento Kings and an easy cover of minus 3.5. Again, that's Sacramento minus 3.5. I expect them to continue their winning streak on this. Kings minus 3.5. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.